Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Rather than making tutorial videos on beginners level Python on different topics, today I'm switching over to Python Institute's beginners training module. For this, today's video, I'm going to talk about 3.2.1.14 lab essentials, which is basically essentials of working with while loop. And the objective here is to calculate the height of the pyramid and we need to use the while loop for this and and the scenario here is that we have a two-dimensional pyramid on a wall rather than actual three-dimensional pyramid therefore it is flat and as you can see on the figure here the top layer starts with one block and then for each next layer there is one additional block so on the first layer there is one block second layer has two blocks third layer has three blocks and so on so the objective here is we have to write a program which reads the number of blocks the builders have and output the height of the pyramid that can be built using those blocks. The constraint here is that the height of the pyramid is measured by the number of fully completed layers. So if the first layer is completed and the builder only has one more block for the second layer, that is an incomplete layer, so that won't count as a fully completed height. They gave us sample test data and for these input, we need to get these output. Now in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways of writing this code. There won't be anything wrong with either one. It's just individual preference on how people can solve the same problem using different methods. As you can see, they already have a partial code here. And we begin with uh, user input on how many blocks there are. And the output should be the height of the pyramid. So we have to write our code in this block here. To start with, I'm going to start saying height equals to zero and we need to use while loop so while let's just say let's say block let's create a variable saying block used and compare that with blocks that we have so we need to define what block use is and in the beginning we haven't used any block so it would be zero as well and while that block used is less than the block provided from this then we will go ahead with this iteration in, within the while loop. We're going to increment the block used at each step. So block used equals to block used plus step. And what is the step? So step at the beginning, if you look at the figure, at, at, the, at the first iteration, we have one block. So each step has additional block. So we will start with step one here. So let's say step equals to one. And by this, in the first iteration, we are saying block used is block used at the beginning, which is zero. So zero plus one. So in the first iteration, we will use one block. And then we, we are gonna have to increase the step at every iteration. So in the next step, we will use two blocks and add to the first block that was used earlier. So here we're gonna check if block used is less than or greater than the total blocks we had then we are going to break out of this while loop else we're gonna so if block used is more than the blocks then we are not going to do anything we just simply break out of this whole while loop otherwise we're going to increment the step and the height so height plus equals one and similarly, step plus equals one. And then we can use the same concept here and say plus equals step. So I think that should do it. Let's, let's give it a few run and, and use the test data and see the output. So on the first, it will ask me the input. My input is six. A block is not defined. Okay, so line number seven, which is here, so it should be blocks. Let's give it a run again. Enter a number of blocks, six again. Now I get the result three, which is the correct output. Test it again. This time I enter 20 as my test data, and I give five, which is also correct. Run it again. This time I put 1000, which is giving me 44, which is also correct. One more test. Two, 
and it gives me one which is also correct so this is just one way to do it like i said there's there can be multiple ways or numerous ways we can achieve the same outcome is this the best way highly likely not and i'll show you uh, another way which is much better and shorter than this so the problem with this is i'm using if and else logics and i'm using variables that are not actually necessary to achieve the same thing so instead of counting blocks used i'm gonna use another method where i'm simply removing the blocks from the total blocks we have and let's keep this for now let's change everything inside here and we're not going to use blocks used like i said earlier but we'll we need height because we need that output here so we will have to keep there and the bottom idea in this method here is if you look at this figure here that is provided at every step we are adding one more block to to the layer so if we are increasing height then we are increasing the block in that layer too so essentially if we're looking to add certain height then we need that many block in that so if we're looking to add height number one then we need block number one we need height number two then we need two block number for that additional height similarly for the third height we need three blocks so basically we're checking blocks versus heights so what we are saying is if blocks is more than height then we will increment the height right plus equals one and then now we need to reduce the number of blocks because we use those blocks uh, in this step so in in the first step we are down one block so let's say we started with the example of six here when we started with six six is more than the current height which is zero at the beginning so the first addition will occur and then we should go we should be down one block so that's what this step will do blocks minus equals height so so in the first step we are using the block so we will reduce the block by that one height in the next step we are using two more blocks so our block would be decrement by that height here minus equals height and let's give it a run our test data first is six we got three twenty we get five run it again a thousand we get 44 on one last run for two we get one and just to show you what if we have one block we'll still get one and then what if we have zero blocks we get zero so th those are the two different methods that we can implement while loop with and achieve the desired outcome for this lab work. Hope you learned something new today. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thank you.